reported to have mysteriously gone missing, having been grabbed by a group in black cloaks. <laughs> it seems like this dark wizard news group are finally taking action where others dare not. <laughs> Do you think this dark wizard really exists? I thought it was just some silly gossip going around the school. I know he does. Rodolphus Lestrange is the one to talk to. You should put your one in too, see what happens. You watching, Mudbloods? This just proves that purebloods really are the most powerful. Shut it, Lestrange. I wonder what this really means. I mean, I've heard about two one cards, but it means together we can do incredible things. It means we have a bond like no other. We can't break it. You will never see her again. If you do, you will meet the same fate. exactly what's going on. This is important. Magical purity is getting weaker. We need to ensure that the black line remains powerful. You need to set an example. You know that muggles are causing wars and destruction in this world. Their weak-minded blood does not belong with ours. I will marry a pure blood. But right now, especially after I got my oral apprenticeship, and what about all those newts I worked so hard for? Besides, when I do marry, I want it to be my choice. I do it my own way. I don't appreciate it being posted around like a witch weekly magazine. Mother, please. Be quiet. You're no longer at Hogwarts, Bellatrix. We've left it far too long. I guess I'd better packing my newts now. Don't be then. silly, Belle. Andromeda. If you do not comply, there is a very easy way to fix this. Tignus, she's forgotten enough as it is. You are a disgrace to our family. You will marry first, and then you will leave this house. Then I will no longer have to deal with you. Our family is the noble and most ancient house of black. You will all contribute to carrying on a pure magical bloodline. If you do not obey or agree to our arrangements, you will be Banished from this household and stripped of your rights as a member of the Black family. Do you understand? Are you listening, Bellatrix? I'm glad you tried to stand up to mother and father, Bella. I agree with you. But what can we do about it, though? I don't want to marry someone I barely know. Father, Cadabra! I told you! It's an unfair- 
unforgivable curse. The Ministry have traced you, Bella. Not that she actually cast it, mind Stop you. Stop it! Get behind me! My year at Hogwarts. Yeah, a seventh year Hufflepuff. Muggle born. <laughs> Hello, I've got these leaflets for the. And what exactly are these? Some sort of Muggle Defense Society? <laughs> They're gig leaflets. My friends are playing in the village pub tonight. I said I'd help them out because I wanted to make it a good one for them. I was walking up to your house to put some through the gate. They play music at the pub? Yes, apparently quite a lot. Do you not go down there much? There's no need for us to. Well, if you want to, here you go. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe see you tonight. Go! Leave! <clears throat> <laughs> 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 what an idiot. Did he seriously think we'd go to a gig? We're not desperate. <laughs> Bed gig. Bella, you seem to be good friends with Rodolphus. <laughs> Lestrange? Rodolphus! <laughs> He's worse than Malfoy. <laughs> Rodolphus! <laughs> Wait, Rodolphus! I almost forgot! He said he'd take us to visit the Dark Lord tonight. You two coming? Of course! If there's new magic being taught, I want to be there. I'll go get my cloak. Rodolphus, really? Whatever you can control, take hold of. Keep storing those memories. I'd suggest watching them in a pensive each night. My lord, there has been a mistake. These are the three sisters I spoke to you about. With the wands. I'm Bellatrix Black. And I've no doubt that you know the name that my sisters and I share. We are from the most noble... Silence. Black family. Most prestigious and noble line. Always pure. However, you are Hogwarts students. Albus Dumbledore may be a hypocritical blood traitor. He is no fool. His power is unrivaled. His downfall will come at my hand. At the opportune moment. It's rather disappointing, Lestrange. This is why you are not yet a Death Eater like your father. My lord, I believe you will find great value in Bellatrix. She currently has an aura apprenticeship at the Ministry. And I was four times dueling champion at Hogwarts. Very well. Duel with me. Duel. With me, Bellatrix Black.
Free yourself. You have my wand! <laughs> Fear and love will bind you. Don't let them control you. You show much potential. Could be so much more than just a simple aura. to get it. Today is Wednesday, the 26th of May, 1971. Are we heading for a wizarding war? The view on Muggle relations is dividing the wizarding world for the first time since Grindelwald. Enough of the distraction. Even. I'm putting our family on the right side of power. The only one actually going out there doing something about it, unlike you. Sissy. Today is Monday, the 19th of June, 1972. The group in black cloaks have identified themselves as Death Eaters. They have claimed responsibility for multiple attacks. Let me guess where you two have been. This is our duty as a family. You could join us. Their leader, who proudly claimed responsibility in the name of magical blood purity, goes by Lord Voldemort. Where's the over there? At the top at Gringotts. Please, we'd be offering our house to rebellion meetings. If the Ministry found out, then... The Ministry still think I'm a dedicated aura trainee. Besides, the Dark Lord will protect us. So will I. I don't think this is a good idea. I do. So many influential people are following him now, including the Malfoys. It truly is a shame that too many ministry officials come by our manor, but if you were to offer your house, it would prove your alliance to him and to all the powerful families. It really is beneficial. He can keep us safe. He's only going to get stronger. They do have a point. We'd be silly not to. We could set out to do what Grindelwald achieved and more. And you could help. Cygnus? I will give permission to this on one condition. You will marry. Stop. I know exactly what you're thinking. Who knows? We're good friends. There are other ways to gain the Dark Lord's approval. But who knows? He may lose power within a year or so. No, he won't. All right. How does the strange sound? so different in our own ways, aren't we? Yes. Very different. <laughs> Lucius said it's charm to play when it senses love. He got you that? Oh, Mr. Death Heater has a sensitive side. Father should be here soon. You're 
quiet. Are you nervous? Bellatrix Black? Nervous? You've only just realised what you're doing, haven't you? I know what love is now. What? No. No. You can't. There's no way you can. Bella, that's not love. What did you say? Forget it. I'm taking hold of what I can control. Slytherin clean. Of course. <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh, you know you're going to need some sort of concealment charm though if you don't want anyone stealing it. Actually, she's right. There's one that I use on my letters. The Lacoris charm. You create a secret phrase and then it will reveal it. And why are you concealing your letters? Green got rules, of course. All right, give it back. You know, this is some really powerful magic. You could be useful. Oh, no yeah. thanks. My talents will not be used for any muggle torturing or dark arts. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, you know, stars only shine in darkness. Come along, Sirius. I want you to talk to the Caro girl. I swear, it's all our family bloody thinks about. You lot are so boring. Please. Wendy. <laughs> Sirius, come! I want to make progress. Someone kill me, please. <laughs> Taking you into the ministry, where you're in suspicion of conspiring with he who must not be named. What? You were cited attacking a Muggle Parliament building, casting a dark mark into the sky. No! Wait! It wasn't her. Richardson, there must have been some sort of mistake. This is my sister. I'm sorry, Black. You're strange. I'm just doing my job. Congratulations, by the way. You should be proud of Andromeda. She's showing her allegiance to the pure blood cause. Wahlberger, she could go to Azkaban for this. Bella, what did she do? What I had to do to protect our family. They won't remember. And why should we have to hide our power from the Muggles when we're far superior? It's 1970. And that's your opinion. <clears throat> I don't remember any of this. When did this happen? Father. He. Please don't tell me someone's died. He only killed a couple of muggles. Oh. oh, that's okay then. Just a couple of muggles, is it? Are we killing muggles in the street now? Oh, I don't know. Bringing back the people who murdered them into our... This isn't right. We can't keep on living like this. I hate the Dementors. It's so 
cult. Father, can't you just- Enough! There's nothing I can do. She made her choice. No, you made it for her. Funny how you both only get involved when it concerns yourselves. This was a mistake. Well, it was an attack on the Ministry. We're fine. No one knows that it was us. Anything interesting in there? Not that I know of. Hmm. See how my sisters are doing? It's so rare that we do this these days. Such fond memories in here. Yes, surprisingly, I remember them. Like the time that we dressed the ghoul in Andy's clothes. Or. <laughs> have you stuck giggle shots? Or maybe the time that we sat here and said to each other, at least we'd be able to rely on each other. The only people who could have known about the attack last night are the people in this house. No David could have done this. I made sure of it. I don't appreciate people jumping to conclusions. I said it was you. I suspect Malfoy would never forgive you if you thought it was. You'd have to say goodbye to that arrangement. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Maybe your protection spells weren't as powerful as you thought. Lucius has told me about his certain... Would you like me to perform the gentleman's on you? Or something worse? No. It was me. You. <laughs> You've ruined everything. He trusted me. And after all the things I've done for this family, after all the things I've done for you, using memory charms on all of us, you know how much that I hate memory. Was your mess? All of this is dementors, murders in our house. The Dark Lord. Does he suspect any of us? He suspects an outsider. Then can't we just move on from this? Maybe it was a good thing that this happened. A good thing? They'll never visit this house again! As I planned. You need your space, we all do. But this is our home. Can't you see what the Dark Lord is doing to the wizarding world? To you. To us. Stop trying to cover your tracks. Stop being so selfish! Selfish? Can it not get through? into your thick skull that you're the one who's putting us in danger. And for what? Your own gain? You're supposed to protect us. This, this is not what big sisters are supposed to do. Andy, you disgust me. Everyone's been talking about the things you've been doing. The things I've been doing are magnificent. I have power you will never reach. Would you like to see? Go on then. Master the killing curse yet? There's more creative spells than that. I could charm your clothes to tighten and strangle you. Or perhaps I could torture you as punishment. Or maybe I could force you to do my bidding. Yes, see the errors of your ways, make you join us as a Death Eater! Me. It's me like a buckle. What's wrong? I'm scared to use magic on me. We both need to just stop and never think about what. Dead. Dead. 
you talking about? You're mad. <laughs> You really shouldn't have betrayed me. Or our family. My choice. I'm doing it my own way. You remember that, right? Go this way. What is this? How long has this been going on for? Since the Weird Sisters gig. You remember? All those years ago, when we saw the mud blood right here. <coughs> Don't explain yourself. Hey! <coughs> I tried to tell you. Did you really think I had a job at Gringotts? You lied. All those times you left the house. You were with him. I don't understand. Because unlike you two, I don't care. I don't care about power or riches or blood. We're all magical. Even if you didn't have a single drop of magical blood. It wouldn't matter to me. You all lead a life with no true love. I love you. Myself and Lucius, we're pure blood. We love each other. You don't need to prove a point by trying to taint our family. How on earth does marrying Ted taint the family? He doesn't. You're both brainwashed. Enough! He's the one who's brainwashed you. Teasing you with something new, something different. That's exactly what they do. Just a moment of weakness for you, Andy, that's all. I'll say this once. Let him go. Promise not to see him anymore. They'll forgive you. You should listen to her. Think about what you're doing. Being with him puts us all in danger. Andy, please! I can't. We're engaged. Let go. No. Let. Go. Imperio. We'll pay for what you have done. But if you don't stop and think about what you're doing, I'll petrify you too. And you can both stay here forever. 
a perfect love story. Shut it! Father. Bella, no! Wait! Can we just discuss this here? Please! If they hear about this, Andromeda will surely be banished. Take me to them. Do it. with you and the Dark Lord, I... How can you be so stupid and naive? He's not gone! And she is never coming back! No! Please! No. This is all I have left. to me what he did to you. 
make me forget. Who was it that just separated? Was it you or Andromeda? Bella! Why? Have your stupid memories. But you know the Dark Lord is highly practicing occlumency. He will not- The Dark Lord is gone! He was killed by a boy. Now answer me. Sissy! Was it you? Or Andromeda? She made her choice. What are they? Frank and Alice Longbottom. They know something. They can help me find him. I'm going to- Bella. Me... I'm sorry he's gone. He was killed. There's no point. This could help me find him. Enough! Don't be so stupid. Look, I promise I'll destroy the pensive. Just promise you won't do what I think you're going to do. Bella, promise me.